Hello everyone, welcome to Biology One. My name is Emily Reed. I'm gonna be your instructor for this semester and I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to working with you. Um, this is a biology for non-majors course, which means this might potentially be your only exposure to biology in college, who knows? Um, but if that's the case, I wanna do a good job of delivering this set of biology content to you. So we're gonna be working together through the computer this semester. Um, as you know, things are remote right now. We won't actually be meeting up together in a classroom. I'll be giving you this class from my home, which means you may occasionally get the sounds of my husband or my our three-year-old. Um, <laughs> I'll do my best to, to keep things quiet, but um, yeah, I know a lot of you are juggling a lot of responsibilities right now too, and we'll just, we'll do our best to get things to you smoothly and effectively. Um, I want to give you just up front a note so that you know what to expect. At some point I will actually disappear this semester and someone else will teach the class for a few weeks. That's because I'm expecting a baby in February. So I will of course keep you updated as things develop there. Um, just don't want it to be a surprise when it happens. So anyway, as far as biology one goes, what to expect this semester? What to expect week to week? In general, what you should expect is something like this. There will be some assigned reading. I'll assign you a chapter to read from our textbook. There will be some lectures that will go along with that chapter, so you'll wanna watch those lectures. And then there will also be a lab activity to complete. All of this is going to be done um, through the computer. Okay, so for labs, they will also be on the computer. There's not like a lab room that you need to plan to go to. No lab rooms um, involved this semester. Okay, so it will all be done through the computer. And it's also going to be done kind of on your own time schedule. So I'll get things posted to Canvas for you, and then you'll be able to complete the activities at whatever time is convenient for you that particular week. Okay, so that's got some pros and some cons. On the, on the upside of things, it's nice to have that flexibility. You can do it whenever is best for you. Uh, but on the downer side of things, you wanna be careful with that. You wanna be careful not to save things up too much. So with that in mind, what I'm gonna just tell you is that you should plan um, you should plan some time into your schedule in the first half of the week and in the second half of the week to devote to this class. When I have due dates, they will either be Wednesday night or Saturday night or both potentially. Okay, so Wednesdays and Saturdays, those are gonna be our due dates. And that's, that's um, on purpose in order to encourage you to, to not get behind. You wanna to plan to put some time in again, first half of the week and second half of the week. Okay, so um, one other thing, as you work through Canvas, on your courses, on our course specifically, you'll notice when you log into Canvas and you go to our course, there'll be on the right hand side, there'll be like a to-do list. And that's a handy place for just keeping track of due dates and assignments that are coming up and due. Um, but I want to give you a, a warning to not rely too heavily on that to-do list, okay? Because there's a lot that's not represented in that to-do list. So um, for example, and when you go over in our course, when you go to modules on the left-hand side of your screen, and when you're looking at the module, you'll see a number of things laid out. I'll have it laid out. Usually there'll be readings first, followed by lectures, followed by assignments like labs, quizzes, those sorts of things. And I expect you to work through in that particular order. I will always lay out the modules intentionally so that you should work like from top to bottom through the module. It wouldn't make sense to try and do a quiz before you've had a lecture on something, right? I would never want for that to happen. So my word of warning is don't just rely on the to-do list. If you just do that, then you're gonna jump into a quiz that you are not prepared for. So instead go over to the modules and work through things in the order that I have them laid out. And that's for your benefit um, so that things will go as smoothly as possible. So I think that's it for now as far as things that I need to say to you or want to say to you. Again, I'm looking forward to working with you this semester. Feel free to be in contact with any questions that might come up either by email or you can leave a question in the Q&A discussion that's at the top of the modules page. Um, you'll see that as you go in and start checking things out for our course. Um, but yeah, keep in contact. Let me know how I can help you if there are questions that I can help answer um, as you get going through the orientation materials this week. I'll talk to you guys again soon.